Hello, I'm Declan Curry. Welcome to the online channel where I speak to successful business leaders and discover what's on their minds. This is Spotlight. We know we need to leave a lighter footprint on the planet. We all try to reduce and reuse and recycle. But the need to protect our world also means we need to govern better all the energy that we use. And that includes our data. Every email we send, every image that we upload, we use data. And data uses lots of energy. And as we use more and more data, the challenge to manage that energy use sustainably is one that we all need to understand and address. One company taking on that challenge headlong is Xcool, a global leader in data center cooling solutions. John Pettit is its chief commercial officer and he's with me. Welcome to uh, Spotlight, John. Just tell me what uh, Xcool does. So we are a manufacturer of data center cooling equipment. We've been around since 2010, and we create, design, deliver unique energy efficient cooling solutions for data centers. Why is it important that we keep data centers cool? So at the moment, the equipment that goes into data centers works at its optimum performance at a certain temperature and a certain humidity. If that temperature exceeds too high, the equipment can slow down or potentially fail, which would be a disaster for, for pretty much all of us that, that operate on emails, social media. All our online banking, grocery ordering, all of that. So that's got to be kept within these sort of pretty rigid mm -hmm. limits. And that consumes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. How is it cooled? What we do is we use a, a process of evaporative cooling within our systems. The net effect of that is we're just producing um, cool air being blown into um, the data centre itself. Is the importance of this well enough known and well enough discussed? Data centres could use a huge amount of water, like swimming pools worth of water, just to keep it cool. The XCOOL technology we have developed has a way of using now bucketfuls instead of swimming pools. Whilst keeping the overall energy consumption about the same. So we're, we're not using any more energy, if anything we're using less, and we're using a lot less water. This conversation is going to become more and more important, isn't it? If you consider what's happening in business, data and the use of data and the energy we need for data is behind all that. Uh, absolutely. Let me just give you some examples. So there's something called the Internet Minute. Within an Internet Minute there are 300 million emails sent. There are 16 million texts sent. There is a million hours of video streamed down and 500 hours of video uploaded to the internet. It's a lot. And all of that turns into power and has an energy use at some point in, in its cycle. And that energy has to be taken away and the heat has to be um, cooled down to, to ensure you've got the best performance. Where's the innovation? In your business? What is different with XCOM uh, to other companies is that we're quick, we're flexible, we move quickly. And by that I mean if we have an idea, if one of the graduates have an idea, if our CEO has an idea, we can do something about it. We can get it into the test, we can get it into our lab, we can test it and we can decide, hey was that a good idea or not? Well, uh, maybe not or nearly, how about we do this? There are organisations that will take forever to get that process done. We are quick and nimble, and that is our backbone. Our, our innovation is our backbone. What about the product? Is there innovation there? Through testing, we've now proven that running a compressor and a little bit of water is actually a much more efficient way of running the unit. To be very specific, we use less power and we use less water by enabling a compressor for certain amounts of time. So, a massive innovation. We're looking for lessons that are going to be really important for people who are watching this conversation. The, the, the one that comes through from listening to you is the importance of recognising technological change and then embracing it. If you have innovative technology, keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't take the status quo 
um, just keep pushing forward with your technology. If it's a better technology, it will be recognised. Um, but there's always that battle of people who want to just go with, well, I'll do what I always do because I know it works, regardless of, of, of if it's the most efficient or not. For businesses that are in sectors that have nothing whatsoever to do with yours, the lesson is still the same. Get out of your comfort zone. If you believe, if you honestly believe in what you're doing and believe it's got a, a greater good, and we do, you know, we do believe it. We believe that what we are doing is having a very significant positive impact on a very energy hungry industry. Um, you can't ignore that. You can't ignore that as a calling. You've got to keep going forward with it. John Petty, thank you for being with us and thank you for joining us on Spotlight.